Hello, so in this video, I basically just want to show you how to verify your identity on either Flitter or Bundle or and Bundle as the case may be, depending on which of the apps you're using. Now, I use both, but I prefer Flitter and I would explain why. Now, Flitter, basically because of their reward system, right? Flitter allows you to earn 0.5% of the transactions that your referees do does for life. 0.5% of whatever of what I mean of the transaction costs. Now, if you have a lot of people whom you have, you know, introduced to the Flitter community and they are doing they are running transactions regularly, that is some passive income for you. So that's why I prefer Flitter. I don't really like Bundle's um, reward system. Yeah, it's a one-time thing, and I mean Binance, the father of them all, still gives uh still gives us you know some in, something like a, a, a passive reward also which is just like a fraction of the transaction fee go, goes to you because you were the one who brought them into the echo into the ecosystem so that's that so step one was where you basically set up your account on bundle and flitter now this is the combo tutorial right i instead of doing one for flitter and doing one for bundle i just want to show you how now i already have existing accounts with this two platforms which have been verified so i'm just basically going to just show you okay this is where you should check for your verification status and the rest of them so the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to log in now i'm logging into flitter all right and then i have my password uh so usually flitter does double verification that's two factor authentication where they they will also send the code to your email so you have to go to your email <clears throat> You go to your email and then you get the verification code. So that's um, okay, 95346. Okay, so 95346. All right, so now I'm logged in. Now, once in your own case, if you have not, if you have not logged in, I mean, sorry, if you are not verified. If you go to your profile, profile details, um, sorry, okay, so for Flitter, if you go to your profile, they will show you the level at which you are. If you have not verified your account, let me show you how I got here again so that it doesn't look like I'm moving too fast. Now, at the top right hand corner of your screen on your home page, you will see your this profile icon. Click on that. Now, then go to pro uh sorry you're already there even step that's level three level one think of it the same way when you are dealing with banks right when all those people who all those marketers who want you to open accounts with them they'll say you can open your account that working into the bank and all the rest of them and you do that you get on board you know you get on board and then they tell you oh you can only access level one no but if you want to also increase you to tier tier uh, two or tier three, that you should you should come and verify because they need to have your identity in place. So the same thing with all fintech, all financial services apps will require your identity verification. It's not hard to do. They will require you to have a statutory uh, something, maybe like a national ID card, an international passport, any governmental identification uh, material that you have. So international passport, ID card, I mean, national ID card, voter's card, driver's license, this can do. So um, all you need to do is just, you know, you just come here and then you click on increase limits. Now, I don't because I'm completely verified. If it was in your own case, you probably see a place where you would have to submit your ID and then your proof of address. Proof of address. Now, for your proof of address, you can use your bank account statement. You can use your bank account statement. Uh, now, you don't necessarily have to go to your bank. You should be able to print it from your bank. If, uh, if, you, if, if you're using the one that you will print from your, from your app, from your banking app, it may not carry your address. That's the problem with printing bank statements from apps. Like I use GTB, right? And then when you get to the, when you get to the proof of address section, sorry where the bank statement says you they, they, you just set the dates that you want to use and all that yes but it will not include your address so preferably you should go to your bank website go to your bank's website and you should 
print out you log in the same login details that you use on your banking app is what you use on the bank's website so you log in you go to the bank statement section and then you can you can um, easily do that i use gt banks so i just go to gt banks website so that statement of account often will come with your address now either you use that or you use your utility bill so if you pay like something like um nepa bills right or your dustbin but usually these days they don't really have, they don't have they don't accept dustbin bills that belong to uh private companies gonna and unfortunately gonna those days so your best bet is to actually use your your statement your bank statement of account as your proof of address those are the two things you need to do once you do that you, they will move you to depending on the kind of id you submit they'll move you to level two level three what what is the problem with the levels the problem is that each level has a limitation to what you can do if you're level one there's a transaction limit you cannot go beyond there's a certain amount of money you cannot i don't think for fleet i don't think you can move beyond you can move in you can move in beyond 50k so so that's why you need to get uh that's why you need to get verified i'm already logged into my bundle app right so um same thing with bundle also of course once you have finished setting up your accounts on the website the next thing you have to do is you have to um download the app of course and then log in you log into the app and then now when you come here the top left hand side top left hand side you come here you're going to see my own is already fully verified in your own case it will not be fully verified they may say unverified so you have to click it and then you have to submit the relevant now okay so you have to submit the relevant details now you can also come here to account upgrade you click on account upgrade now please upgrade to do more level one you can only your daily limit the amount of money you can bring into bundle is 27.708 right level two you can see your daily limit is 5,541,760 you can see the difference so the same kind of uh statutory document is what you will also submit so your identification documents whether your national id card or your driver's license or your voter's card or your international passport and your proof of address which in this case should preferably be your uh, state your bank statement of accounts that carries your address once you have that you have skipped this stage you are now ready for level three which is how to move money into flitter and bundle that will be done in the next quick tutorial all right